Attorney General of the United States is speaking up about this uh, just this week. Uh, he's saying, hey, this shouldn't be happening. This attack on free speech, attack on the First Amendment should not be happening on college campuses, and most notably these well, these safe rooms and these cry closets and these microaggression SWAT teams that have been formed on university campuses. This is not the message that students should be sent. They shouldn't be sent, hey, you need to muzzle your constitutional rights. They should be sent the message, hey, use and learn about your constitutional rights. That's right. This Department of Justice has been really outspoken in its defense and support of the First Amendment, which is really exciting. Um, because as you point out, yeah, there have been, there are no shortage of incursions and, and ways that um, schools and individuals have tried to muzzle students and, in, and, and um, cut off their civil liberties. And so um, that's why groups like Speech First were created um, to fight back in the courts um, and really, and to sue these schools um, that are violating their students' rights. Oh, so at the University of Minnesota, there is a new speech policy, if you want to call it that. The university is calling it that. Equity and access, gender identity, gender expression, nouns and pronouns. Um, essentially, they want these students and anybody on campus, I suppose, if I walked on campus or you walked on campus, they want us to stay within their rails, their politically correct rails uh, as uh, some sort of form of respect to uh, other people. No, no, this is nothing more than brainwashing their radical ideology. Right. Um, the it's a proposed policy that the University of Minnesota is exploring implementing, and it would provide disciplinary punishments for staff and students who don't use the correct pronoun that an individual wants you to use. And the school has laid out a number of possible pronouns, as well as a number of possible genders you could choose from. Um, and just but this is, this, is through, straight no, out of, this is straight out of the Soviet Union, right? It, it's a list of words well, you and can is, and cannot use. And should and shouldn't be using. And yeah, I mean, to, to say that you can be, um, discipline can include up to firing for staff and mm -hmm. up to expulsion for students is, is something that's really, um, that's really frightening. And frankly, I mean, you know, the Supreme Court has taken a deep dive this term into compelled speech, and that's what this is. This is compelled speech. Students so, are being um, told. I don't think this is going to withstand muster. And students are being told uh, under a policy like this that seeing is not believing, first of all, and that up is down and down is up. This has deep religious connotations because the way I was raised in my religion and uh, tens of millions of other Americans have been raised in their religions is if you're looking at a man that is a male and if you're looking at a female that is a female and there's no black and white, it is a black and white issue, there's no gray there. Well, it raises a lot of questions about how this is going to be adjudicated, too. What if I forget? I mean, if I have to keep track of everybody who's in my dorm, everybody who's in all of my classes, maybe I'm taking four or five classes, right. 30 or 40 kids, that's a lot of people to keep track of. And so if I forget, if I choose to not because of my religious or other beliefs, um, how will, will, I get, will I get a free pass the first time, the third time, the 50th time? Um, and, you know, it's just, it, it raises a lot of questions. I don't know how to conjugate some of these. One of them is um, Zur. Um, what is the what multiple is of Zur? I mean, you, you start to think through the, the what, iterations of that. It's, what, is, what is Zur? It's, it's what, one what, of the pronouns you can choose from. And, and what does that mean? What, is, what is Zurs, there's Ni. What is a Zur? Do we know what know. a Zur is? I, th I don't know what a Zur is, but I, that is one of the ways that, one of, one of the terms that you can choose. And, and, so, for, I mean, it, it reminds choose, me of choose, high school Spanish. Okay, How do you conjugate no, that? No, you're insulting Spanish with that one. This is insanity. Wait, so, so uh, Zur applies as a pronoun? Is that what you're saying? This is a made-up word? This is a new yeah. pronoun that they're being, uh, that there allegedly is pronouns, being taught on, yeah. on college campuses? Is that right? Yeah. And there are just, I mean, there are also a number of genders you can choose from. You can say asexual, you can say non-conforming, gender fluid. Two spirit. I mean, some of the ones like I. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. The University of Minnesota spokesperson um, is trying to defend this policy. Again, you said it's not implemented yet, but they're on the road to implement it. We believe concerns around road, free speech yeah. are unfounded and based on extreme examples of implementation of the draft policy. No, it's not extreme uh, examples. Their policy is extreme. If you call a he a she and a she and it, this is an insult and an assault on common sense and common core values of this republic. 
So yeah, it's being done in the name of discrimination, anti-discrimination, anti-harassment, but unfortunately, it's worded so broadly and it gives the school such broad power that um, I, I think it's unlikely that this will withstand a court challenge and there certainly will be a court and challenge. And by the way, University of Minnesota and many other universities are uh, publicly funded universities. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.